guys are talking about Abraham, but uh, I'm not going to interfere with that. Um, I'm a confused Muslim, like they say. Why are you all confused? Well, it just it's it's how mo- it's how my life started, you know. I mean, I was raised in uh, Bahrain, uh-huh. um, studied abroad, um, went to churches as a visit. Okay. I was still a Muslim. Um, your videos, so many other videos, so many lies, you know. So, so what do you mean? There's like too many confusions happening. Is, you are saying my videos have lies, or what do you mean? I don't know. No, no, no. Your videos do not have lies. Okay. Yeah. You proved all the lies. Yeah. What do you think about what you just said now? I mean, with this guy, he is saying you can recite the Quran in 40 days. And then he can recite it. He changed his mind. He make it one month. And then he changed mm-hmm. it. He make it 20 days. And then he changed Too it to Too much 15. hashish. Too much hashish. Exactly. You know, this is a statement. It's cannot be from God. And the only explanation for this to be true, that the Quran is shrinking. Somebody deleting it pages is. from it, right? For sure. Yeah. So, my friend, how 100%. I can help you today? Like, you are confused about Islam, but you did not leave Islam yet, right? You are from Bahrain, but you did not mm-hmm. decide to leave Islam yet. What is holding you I'm from on leaving? the edge. Why? I need the strike. I need the strike. Okay, okay, but tell me what is holding you so I can strike what, what is holding you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, basically, there are so many things. It's not about family, it's not about friends, it's not about that. Hmm. It's, um, you know, most of the callers that call you, yeah. you know, some of them that are on the edge, um, they speak about, you know, their soul, if you know what I mean. All right. Fear of the soul, or like fear of... Let us, let us know, talk about this. Uh, I don't know what to call you. I don't know what to call you. What's your name? You want to like to give Farouk. Me? Farouk. So Farouk, yeah. you know, uh, uh, how come I don't fear Allah? A question just think about it why you were not fear? born with the fear you, you know i mean we went to school and um they doctrinated but us. i am like you i'm born in the middle east all our culture yeah. is about it's not about really believing in god as much as to fear god exactly you know we have the same even about government we don't respect government we fear government <laughs> right <laughs> We don't true, respect true. the law but we fear the law <laughs> yeah you know so it's a culture of fear and uh, you know, like uh, it's a it's a culture. Like you have to you have to stick in your you have it to have a stick in your hand because everybody is a donkey. You have to have second thoughts all the time. Yeah, and you know you you, you have to say something and you believe in something. <laughs> exactly, exactly like what you said. I mean, he recites it for forty days and changes his mind yeah. in twenty so days. So fear yeah. should not be a problem, uh, because I can see now. Actually, I mean, you killed your fear. Here we go. You are talking to me using your voice. I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what killed my fear. Yeah. All right. Um, f- around let's say twelve years ago. Yeah. I had a dream. Okay. Uh, at the end of the dream, I believe that I saw Jesus. I'm not sure if not, but I believe so. Okay. The the dream was full of spiders and snakes, and um, you know. Things that are not nice to see. Uh, there are so many mountains and shadows and dogs. And there was a white dog at the end that guided me to a door. That door had a stair. I tried to pass the stair halfway through and I see a being, but without feet. Kanlab is thob. It's like a thob, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, it was holding a book. The book was not halfway open, but, you know, quarterly open. And there was so much light behind him. I was trying to climb, the, you know, just taking more steps. But uh, he was like, you know, Can you meet the liktab? Can you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like uh, bringing the book forward to me. But I was trying to reach. But there was something pulling me back. Okay. Like like a force. Yeah. Not something physically mm-hmm. pulling me. Like, the, like a force. Mm-hmm. It woke me up from this dream. Yeah. And a year, like a year before today, yeah, um, I was sentenced uh, to 12 months to jail. Okay. But um, but uh, I got out innocent after a month. Good for you. Uh, and, um, you know, the people inside, thank you, the people inside, you know, they were praying and, you know, people that were atheists became Muslim, like you see in the movies. Mm-hmm. So... Um, you know, in, in the cell, 
they used to tell me, hey, what about you coming to pray with us? And I was like, you know, I'm not that religious. And um, they tried and tried, so I pretended, yeah? Okay. So I pretended to pray, but my prayers were all to Jesus. Okay, so I was doing the Islamic movements, but, you know, I was mumbling whatever it is to Jesus. Um, a week later, Khan Andi Istinaf. Okay, I don't know what they call this in, in English. Appealing. Yeah, and I was innocent. All right. And I believe, for some reason, there is a connection into the prayer and Jesus and um, the signs that I saw in the dream 12 years ago. And the only time I used Jesus was in jail. And a week later, I was out. And, Wonderful. Um, but what, make you, what made you, like when you start praying with them, pretending to be praying like a Muslim, but what, what made you like start praying to Jesus? I mean, did you ask yourself why I'm doing no, that? No, because I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why. Because, you know, like I said, in the beginning, you know, my father, you know, I had problems in school in Bahrain. So my father kicked me out and he sent me to a boarding school in, in England. It was like a half military, half school. Okay. And every Sunday we used to go to the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first time I went into a church, it felt beautiful. It felt clean. There are no slippers outside. There's no slippers and there's no smell of socks. <laughs> you can leave. Yeah. Nobody will steal your shoes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you, Farouk, just uh, I will give you a break from this. You know, once we, yeah. we were at, in our teenage, you know, in school, and we have a bunch of mm -hmm. teachers, they are all of them are idiots. So they went yeah. to the they went to the mosque, and we know which mosque they go to. So what we yeah. did, and you know, I was with them actually, and the rest are Muslims. So one of mm -hmm. the Muslims he come with the idea to take the shoes and dump them in the dumpster. <laughs> 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 so everybody in the mosque <laughs> came out which from the mosque yeah, looking for his shoes, out, I'm sure. <laughs> including our teachers. <laughs> anyway, continue, my friend. I'm listening. So uh, it was, it was, you know, beautiful, and it was, oh, it always felt like home, you know, when I went into a church. And then when I left uh, England, I came back to to the Middle East, and when I went into a into a, into a mosque, uh, it just felt different, you know. It just felt not my place. It felt weird, and seeing how people are, you know, in Ramadan, for example. Yeah is what I call when the devil comes and sits in the Middle East. Mm. This is when the devil makes his, you know, his work. All the parties are in Ramadan. All the prostitution begins in Ramadan. Fighting, All the shisha, violence, lying. Everything. And, everything. And, we, eat, yeah, and everything. we eat more. <laughs> exactly. And we eat more, yeah. And uh, drinking as they, as you know, in the picture, there are no drinks anymore, you know, only yeah. that month. And you know, Bahrain is open when it oh, comes yeah. to these things. And um, even Bahrain in Saudi Arabia, open. you can get a drink, you know, alcohol so easy. Of course, you can. Hey, yeah. Suk Soda, Kil Makan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Black market is everywhere. Saudi Arabia, I mean, it's all underground, but still, you know, here they do it in the open. Uh, girls are not the same, you know, they're not covered and all of that. So it's more open, you know, it's more multicultural in Bahrain. So um, I was. I was planning to visit the new church they built in Bahrain, if you heard about it. Okay. Uh, this is the one that uh, uh, just last week the Pope he visited? Yes, okay. the, uh, Our Lady of Arabia. All right. Uh, it's a beautiful church. I don't know if you checked it out or not. Yeah, I saw it's it. It's really yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice and um, it's welcoming. So mm -hmm. my question to you, yeah, mm -hmm. regarding marriage and Islam and Sharia, eh? And uh, because I'm married mm -hmm. and I have problems with the wife, so um, I'm thinking of converting to Christianity. Okay. So what happens to the marriage by default if me, the Muslim, becomes Christian and the wife stays Muslim? Does that cut off the, the, the marriage or the marriage stays no. as, the, as it is? No. See, Christianity does not encourage divorce, even if your wife, she was not a believer, especially if the yeah, wife, but... it's a woman. You married her before you became a Christian, so you can keep your mar marriage, but you don't have to, but you can keep your marriage. Uh, but uh, the Bible, in the same time, don't encourage 
there is no partnership between people who they are living in darkness and living who and those who are living in light. So a Christian mm -hmm. person cannot marry, non Christian, but this is a Christian person. You are not when you married this lady. She was no, not, she's she's Muslim. She's a Muslim, and you were a Muslim when you married she, her, right? Yeah, I was a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> look how ugly the word man. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. You know, the first time you know, I heard it, you it, saying that, I was like, I was like, what? Let me check my my contract. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Shit. you know, if you open the dictionary, you see the Muslim. They say Christian prince is lying. Nikah does not mean the F word. If you Nikah open, is the F if you word, open man, the dictionary, Nikah. it says Tanakahatil <laughs> Ashjar. Exactly. I mean, what it's mean? I'll, I'll, the branches go through each other. The you branches, know? <laughs> yeah, are, are effing each other. <laughs> and uh, and there is in the book of Al Qurtubi, it says how Shaitan he have a children because the Quran said and the He you know? rocks his legs, yeah. Yeah. So he have a penis in the right leg, a thigh, and he have a vagina in the left leg, and then he do nikah. So how the Muslim this they say that the word hashish, nikah marriage? Prince, this is not hashish, man. This, this is not hashish, hashish absolutely. This uh, and the flying <laughs> car <of> it, and <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are fun, Farouk. You know, I wish you are here. We can oh, have man. coffee together. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish, man. I wish. Yeah. I, I pass to the states every year, by the way. All right, no problem. So, yeah, yeah. so uh, anyway, like you know, so you today you are laughing at Islam. So I cannot say that you are still a Muslim. Everything. You are saying to me now you Every are still day, holding man, yourself as a Muslim. But the thing is, I want to get it out of my system in a way that it's deleted. It's enough. I mean, I'm, I'm getting tired of making. Okay, fun I of it, right? I have a recipe for us for, for you. It work with every Muslim. Drink common urine. <laughs> <laughs> You will, that will never happen. You will get it from out of your system totally. You know? I'd rather I'd rather smoke man than, than, than you know, doing that. No, to, you know, to get anything like bad in our life, uh, you know, all of us, all of us, Safaro, we have bad things in our life. You know, me myself when I was a kid, I used to fight for any reason. I just look for, for look for a reason to fight. You know, you're an Arab man. You get you know, you have temper problems. Yeah. So, okay. so no, we look for it. Like if I look for it, like it's like to prove yourself. You know, it's like a way to prove exactly. it's, it's that you ego. are yeah. you are the man. You know, and you wanna like yeah, I'm the yeah. man. You know, so and yeah. I change a lot. Like now, if I see if, even if somebody insult me, most likely I will try to ignore it as much as I can. You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so you know, with, with, in Christianity, in God, He changed you. It changed you a lot. So if you want to get rid of Islam from your system, as you are asking for, I think the only one who can help you best is to read the Bible and see, try to be the same person as Jesus he was. How loving he is, yeah. how forgiving he is, how wise he is, because all of this is coming from wisdom. You know, when we are a fool, we fight for mm -hmm. no reason. I go in the street, exactly. somebody look at me, why you are looking at me? What the heck? He didn't look, so what? What happened? You know? But you are looking for a fight because this is a foolish behavior. So when a human being, he use his wisdom. Look like he have a bad yeah. internet. You hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, because your voice cut for a second. So you, maybe you, it's you, the neighbors. Uh, maybe it's the neighbors connection. <laughs> are using the neighbor, <laughs> neighbor internet. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's. I don't know if you saw that website. There's a Muslim. He was asking, "Is it halal?" To steal electricity so I can do a pollution. Oh, the sheikh he said sure. <laughs> 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 because the purpose, brother, the purpose is, is, a, is brother, a good purpose. <laughs> exactly, brother. <laughs> you know, I've been hearing you for like six years now. Really? Yeah, man, six years. And I tell you, I, I not, my it, mother hear you, my father, my everyone. Okay, tell me about your mother and your father. What, they decide to leave Islam. My mother, <laughs> my mother is Shia and my father is Sunnah. Oh, okay. okay. Which one of them? It's he, a mix. Which one of them he love about what we, they hear more? Your mom. So what, what? So what do you think? They called me Farouk. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly why. They did not call you Farouk after you. I mean, uh, after they heard me, they called you a long time ago. Farouk. <laughs> My mom was like, I'm glad they didn't call you Omar. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there are, you know, inside jokes that we do in the house. And that's fine. We have our inside jokes. You know, we joke around the 12ers that, that you know, from my mom's side. And I joke around, you know, regarding Muhammad and his Sahaba with my, with my father's side. So there is, you know, the ins and outs of jokes. We joke around about it. But, you know, they go back in their box. 
I stay out of the box. Hmm. That is the problem with them. They need more of you. And that's going to come. Well, I will be happy if they have any question. If they are around you, I will be happy to speak to them. Or they can, you can ask through you. And I will be happy to answer yeah. if they have any questions. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, in, sure. in order to get rid of Islam from your system, I believe, the best way is, you know, faith. Uh, faith change the nature. I have the faith, man, towards Jesus. I have the faith towards, you know, all of that, the love, the energy, and, you know, the positiveness and all of that. And the educational, uh, you know, side of it, but um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. So I until really until know. now, you did not consider yourself. You, you you denied Muhammad to be a prophet, or you denied long time ago. Okay, so you are out of Islam already. We can say now. You can say so, but how about the feeling inside? You know, my brain what is you, saying something. What do you feel? What do you feel? You know, I'm, I'm, my brain is saying something and my heart is saying something else. So what your it's brain like, is saying? What your what your heart is saying? My brain is saying everything is BS. Okay. Uh, my heart is saying, you know, it's 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 you know it's doctrinated CP. It's you know since we were kids. Yeah. And you know how it is like it's it's like North Korea. Yeah, yeah. In a way. Yeah. Okay. So how they doctrinated us? How they yeah. you know? You know, I, I would tell you. Them. I would tell you my experience. When you live in the Middle East. What they teach you about the Jews? They are evil. They are bad. Yeah, they start with they they start to they start with you can't eat with them and you know yeah. they're not that good. No, actually, and, you know, they start first slowly. time I saw a Jew, I was trying to find if he have a tail, <laughs> 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 because all of what they teach us that they are monkeys. You know, they are pigs. They you are should monkeys. Have checked you know? branches, man. That's that's. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this is how much you know they brainwash you when you are uh, you know. We in Bahrain, they didn't went into the extent of you know the monkeys and all of that. Yeah. But um, you know they were you know polit politically correcting in a way. Mm. You know. But what I'm saying. Slowly. Yeah. Still, yeah. I mean, we have the same garbage. You know where we coming from, yes. me and you. We yeah, speak the same exactly. language, and uh, you know their the culture is 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 not about thinking logically. It's about being stupid and believe. You know. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, I sit with my friends and we have debates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go through these things and they, you know, they agree until they go back to their box and say, no, it's not real. No, this is you're making this shit up and you show them, you show them the Hadith, you show them that the, the, the Quran, you show them everything. It's still. They don't get convinced. Yeah, they go it's in denial. No, this is not. It's not about they not uh, convinced. Uh, yeah, they in, go in, in fact, they are. True. In fact, they are. Because they have eyes and they can see, as you said, but uh, yeah. it's a, it's embarrassment. So what we do? It's embarrassment and how big the kufr word is to them. Yeah. So what we do? We yeah, deny they, it. You know, this is the easiest way. Exactly. What they, uh, yeah, but, exactly. But what doesn't they mean uh, doesn't mean if they deny it, it's not there. You know, the, the the always the Muslims and Arab in general, they are like the ostrich. You know, the naama. <laughs> you know. They put their head in the sand because they, and now they exactly. think no, nobody can see them no more. The, the wolf is not yes, there. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So they put their head and, and then not, not only that, they are very proud. And because they are so proud about what I don't know, uh, it's hard to speak to them uh, because they are There's so proud. too much ego. Too much. Uh, but by time, you know, like it's a, uh, it, it might take some time, you know, like you know, when you learn English, uh, like, you know, the word upset upset uh, upset yeah. doesn't make sense like somebody is upset what does that mean i mean what set and up have to do yeah. with being angry yeah and then i yeah. learned that the cowboy uh, when they try to ride a horse you know the horse yeah. he go up and he said up and you know like you know <laughs> when you sit on him so this is where the word upset coming from from the cowboy so uh, an, an arab boy who is a muslim is like a horse and he been you know he been treated all his life to be to to believe that he is uh, free and now suddenly he found that he is just a slave so he would be upset he's a slave of allah he cannot use his brain he cannot read very if he true. read he is being yeah. going to be in trouble if you open his book he will be in trouble so what the quran says and the best of you the 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 the, the scholars is the one who say we believe you know mm -hmm. so who is the rasikuna fil -alm? is the one who say we believe not the one who study you know, yeah. So like in the yeah. in the Hebrew people, if you say to them, uh, a rabbi, a rabbi is somebody he study. 
-hmm. the Muslim sheikhs is not the one someone he study is someone he believe according to the Quran and eating too much hummus yeah it's just you know like say I believe the most you say the more you say the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you are that's it you are a sheikh you know the second the second they ask you a question Allah knows best you know and we solve the yeah. problem uh, mm -hmm. but you know for you I, I, I think I mean it's not shouldn't be hard because already your parents they are already you know somehow laughing at the Quran and and uh, Muhammad they're they're open they're open people you know they're they're open-minded when it comes Wonderful. to that will make you believe what you believe you yeah, know what I mean that will make things very very easy for you it is easier you know? but you know I, I've seen friends that you know mm -hmm. they turn around and nearly backstab you so I cannot open up these subjects openly here yeah. especially with you know some people yeah well you know uh, you see uh, if you uh, always you have to choose your uh, choose as, as they say in, your in English cho yeah. choose your friends carefully you know choose your friend yeah, carefully yeah. Uh, not everyone is qualified even to to be my friend and not everyone is qualified to have a serious conversation with him so a, a topic like this it should be only uh, open with someone you think you consider uh, to be smart and that is <laughs> hard to find in the Middle East because the smart Two one of my friends you know very close friends one is Shia and one is Sufi uh -huh. in Sydney uh -huh. one is diplomatic and one is uh, you know uh, uh, a worker in, in one of the big banks here yeah so um, we have these debates and you know it goes really nice because you know everyone has his own opinion and I'm like you know Islam is an individual thing it's it's now today if you ask a Muslim what kind of Muslim are you, he will give you his own version of Islam. Yeah. Everyone has his own version of Islam. There is no one that I met ever that went and did exactly what the Sunnah says, what the book says. They don't. But they're in denial, like you said. They think they are. Yeah. And you know, the, the both of them, the Shia and the Sunni, the second you find them something embarrassing, they deny it. Embarrassed. Yeah, because you know? I told I told my friend, why aren't you wearing black shoes anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, how did you know? <laughs> he heard me. Did he hear me? <laughs> I heard you saying that once. I went the next day. I was like, Ahmedo, why aren't you wearing black shoes? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> For people who do not know, the Shia, they believe, if you wear a black shoe, your private part will not function in the bedroom. It will it will be limp forever. It will be limp forever. And the wife, she will not be No happy. Viagra, nothing will she, save She us. will divorce you, you know? So you have to wear a yellow shoes or a white shoes. Yellow shoes is the best, you know? <laughs> yellow shoes is the best. <laughs> it's bright and it will brighten up the day. What, what is your shoes, Farouk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, all of my shoes are black. Oh, boy. Nearly, nearly black. So ladies, And it's working ladies, fine, man. Don't ever think to marry Farouk. He have a problem already. <laughs> oh religion. man, it's been a while, while man. I wanted to speak to you. You know, there's a, there's a hadith about a person. He came to, uh, I think Abu Jafar or Ali. I'm not, I'm not sure. I forgot the, the hadith. And he said to him, yeah. uh, "My wife, she is giving me only girls. You know, baby girls." And he wanted yeah. boys. So he said to him, yeah. "Next time when you have sex with her." Do it from behind and spank her, <laughs> and each time you spank her, you say, Ya Ali. <laughs> ya Ali, huh? <laughs> oh my god, spank yeah. hard and say, Ya Ali, and push it. Yeah, Ya Ali, they worship Ali, and, and the then and not only that, brother, Muhammad. the miracle happened. The guy, after that, he have seven, seven, seven boys. <laughs> <laughs> So and the poor Suleiman you... didn't say inshallah and he, he got Nigeria. No, he said Ya Ali. He said Ya Ali. He spank and he said Ya Ali. It's a, <laughs> it's a clear recipe. It's very easy, very simple, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the Shia I cannot look at their, you know, behind. No, they cannot because they will they, they, they will go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, even the Sunni, but... Aisha, she said yeah. that, she, that she never saw the private part of a, a prophet of Allah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? So what she was seeing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not there, man. What a crazy religion! It so is, my friends, so crazy now, religion. now you know, like in your, you, you are saying you have a trouble about Islam, it's saying clearly as out of your system, but in your heart still you believe in Jesus, correct? 
Of course. So do you accept him as a prophet or as your God and your savior? I accept him as both, I believe. Prophet and God and savior? Because a prophet cannot work without the God. Hmm. God needs to put the prophet to pass the message because if God comes by himself, you know, you never know what could happen to humanity by itself because he's so powerful. Mm. So we cannot imagine what kind of energy and power. Okay, let us, we'll let, let us rephrase so this. You know, Jesus, the, tr the only prophet actually in the world is God. The rest, they prophesy in the name of the, 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 the prophet. Right. God right. is the one who gave a pro his prophecies to the one we call them prophet. But the fact they are not the one who make the prophecy, they are just delivering the mm -hmm. prophecy, correct? So right. God is a prophet in the same time, for he is the one who knows the future. He is the one who knew, knows what is going to happen. And he is the one who can be the first and the only prophet. The rest of them, we call them prophet because they are from our kind and they go down to earth like us. You know, mm -hmm. they are in the earth and they deliver the, the prophecy of God. But the fact, all prophecy is coming from God. So the Messiah... Any prophet did what Muhammad did? No. No, None? None. Out of, you know, 124,000? 124,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, even there, Muhammad exaggerating everything, and, you know, his exaggeration is so stupid. The same. True. The, the yes. Shia and the Sunni, they have tons of stories. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, as I, I don't know if you know, that the Shia, as long as you associate yourself with the Shia, the Shia, they believe that Allah, he sent Prophet Adam, in a journey, like the one you see in the part of the Caribbean, you know, <laughs> in a in a ship, there was no uh, no land, there was only water, and mm -hmm. he was in the ship for like you know a, a two thousand years or one thousand years, depending on the story. And then mm -hmm. during the ship, during the the trip, Adam he sweat uh, uh, once only one one hundred twenty four thousand drop of sweat. From every oh. sweat, Allah created the prophet, you know, which makes sense, you know. Yeah, and if you oh, yeah. uh, and I mean the Shia, they can count even how many drop of sweat the guy he has. <laughs> <laughs> All those stories make yeah, sense. There's somebody for sure. like sitting behind them and counting it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I believe that. So, <laughs> so you know, uh, when we say Jesus uh, uh, for us as a Christians, he is a prophet. Yet he's God. Yet he is a, a master. He's a teacher. He's a rabbi. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. Lord. So all those names fit with him. For he was between us doing all those things. He prophesied. He yeah. healed. He is a healer. He resurrected. He is a resurrector. Uh, he, he, yeah. he told the truth. He, he said, I am the truth. He gave life. So he is life giver. Uh, even the Quran. Admit he that, made correct? the blind see. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the Messiah is a very special person. All the prophets of God, they have a job of delivery. Except Jesus. He himself is the word of God and he is God at the same time. This is why in the book of John it says in the beginning it was the word and then the word became a flesh in verse number 14. So the Messiah yeah. and, the, and the word by the way here is not it, the translation say word but it's not really accurate translation. The word is logos. Logos mm -hmm. is the mind, is the will, is the decision, is the plan of God. So the Messiah is the walking, talking, living word of God. So, so he, Logos is a Greek word? It's a Greek word, correct, yeah. Okay. And the Logos okay. is not something new. You see, when, when, the, when the Bible speaks to the, to, the, to the Greek, he speaks in their language, so they understand what we are talking about. So they are, you know, it's using their language. Uh, so the second you say Logos to a Greek person, you don't understand it just a word, like in English, you know, just a plain English word, mean word. The Logos yeah. is way more than just a word. It is everything. It is the, the is will. There yeah, is there an explanation why God um, came down as Jesus, just Him? I mean, why didn't God come down, you know, with as as other prophets, like He did with Jesus? Well, you know, this is the, mean, the, the he, other prophet. They are just prophets. Any explanation? You see, you see when when in, in Christianity, yeah. it will be that Jesus is the only only person who is the Son of God. The rest are not. So other son prophets. Of God, not biologically, you mean? We, we, this is not biological for sure, but the Quran understand it in a yeah. biological way because the Quran exactly. is stupid. But uh, <laughs> but but for us, yeah, because you know, no, no Christian. You see, it's okay to understand this way. If the Christian believe that God, he have a wife, her name is Mary, 
and then they have a son, his name is Jesus, correct? But the, mm -hmm. the, the Bible and the Quran agree that Mary was a virgin. So obviously, this is not something sexual, right? Obviously. So exactly. the Messiah, the Son of God, he is born from God, and his existence have nothing to do with his birth date. Like a Muslim, he is a smart, he will say to you, uh, well, who, where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus? You know? Mm. But Jesus, he said, mm -hmm. before Abraham, I am. I am. So he exists before Abraham, and he, his birth have nothing to do with his existence. So yeah. the, uh, the Messiah is not like other prophets. Uh, you know, prophets are people who come and they pass and they die. Uh, Jesus, he exists from before time. The Bible says everything created by him and for him. And Jesus himself, mm -hmm. he proclaimed things which is not for anyone to proclaim, like I am from above. You are from below. So Muhammad copied that. Muhammad, he tried to copy. Everything for him. You know, for yeah. me, actually, I believe, I, I, uh, I'm working right now in a book. Uh, Muhammad, uh, the story of Muhammad in Arabic, it doesn't make any sense. I think I think the story of Muhammad is translated from, a, uh, from an Aramaic book and it turned to be an, now what we call it Quran. You know, because uh, everything... So you're saying it was a myth? Uh, I, I cannot say if it's a myth or not, but I can say the story is a flipped upside down. You know? Yeah. The story yeah. is a story is not uh doesn't make sense. Like you know, you, you mentioned to me the uh, names, like your name is Farouk, right? Yeah. Okay. But if you if you go and ask the uh, ask yourself uh, some questions, you will find that even the names in the books of Muslims, you cannot really find meaning for them in Arabic. As an example, uh you know, uh, uh, uh Quraysh. Mm. What Quraysh mean? A tribe. Yeah, this or is the name of village. tribe, right? Okay, but this is not true. Quraysh is people who they are like a cowboy, you know, Ru'at. Ru'at, yeah. you know. Qatta Turak. No, Ru'at, Ru'at, mean Ru'at, you know, the people who they, they yeah, the, the shepherd, you know. Yeah, this shepherd, is what Quraysh mean, but this makes sense only in the Aramaic. So in the Aramaic, it means Ru'at. In Arabic, does not mean anything. So, so Quraysh is an Aramaic word. It's an Aramaic word. All the names actually okay. you see in the Quran are Aramaic words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even and Muhammad, even is. Muhammad is an Aramaic word. If you ask you yourself, know, within these years, yeah, within these years, I was, I was, you know, digging deep, and uh, you know, I found out lots of things that to do with Aramaic and so many stories that were stolen, the seven sleepers, the, the Baqarah, the, um, I mean, everything the is, a is a theft. But, of everything. but even the remix. names, even the names, the Muslim they have, like you know. Uh, 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 you know the story of Uthman ibn Affan as an example. Uthman mm. ibn Affan. I mean, it doesn't mm. make sense. Uthman is it a person make sense, like a poem. Uthman is a name of a person who mistreated. Oh. He yeah. was like, Athen. Uh, uh, Uthman. Uthman. Yeah. Is somebody. Uthman, but what is what is Affan? Affan. Uh, I will tell you. I'm, I'm coming there. So Uthman yeah. is somebody mistreated. He was like uh, people were unjust to him. And then a fan is the coffin. Mm. So Uthman is a person who was unjustly killed. Muslim, they tortured him. And even they refused to bury him, to bury his coffin with the Muslims. Yeah, they dragged him out. They dragged him yeah. in the street. And then you will find that yeah. Uthman ibn Affan make, 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 uh, makes sense. Now, it's not a name. It is a description. Right, right. A after the action, what happened? Exactly. Yeah. So somebody named him Uthman, the son. The nickname. Uh, yeah, the son of the coffin yeah. who dragged out, who nobody buried him. So he was yeah. he was killed unjustly. So look like. So Afan, Afan, Afan. No, Afan, Afan is the coffin. It's not the uh, Afan. No, it's the coffin. Okay. It's the coffin. Yeah. Okay. So okay. so in our make it makes sense. It is a state. It's a statement description of what mm -hmm. happened to this man and then you cannot explain why in the world his name is like that you know and we find that the same of the rest of the names you know all the names so uh, when it's we study story, man. It's all a mishmash. when we study you know if you want to go deep with the knowledge then you will find yeah. that Islamic religion is a is a is a, is a, is a mix of uh, of many things cannot be cannot be 
coming from the Arab. Asatir and Awaliyan. Yeah, it, exactly. The Quran says actually, yeah, in many mm -hmm. places, six, seven places, uh, the Arab, they say to Muhammad, uh, you know, this is the fabulous of all nations or uh, the previous nations. And the reason True. they said they said that to him, uh, because simply those stories they all heard. are known, you know, nothing new. But I believe yeah. that there is someone, he wrote the Quran as a story about somebody you know yeah like there is a person his name is Muhammad and there is a there is a characters and then even in the hadith the characters they show in the hadith they don't show much in the Quran like we don't see the Uthman in the Quran right Uthman ibn Arfan in the Quran we don't see him right but we will right. find that tons of his stories a ton of names this is why the Muslim do not even know what the names mean if you ask a Muslim what Abraham mean they do not know they don't know what Israel mean they don't know what Isa who is what is Isa what Moses they don't know yeah okay Torah what is Torah they don't know in jail <laughs> they don't know so how this is can be a book was sent to the Arab and you know the Quran says this is the book we made it in clear details right <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah so right for right so how yeah. how we made it clear and then we do not know so either this book it is, is weird man it's weird how they believe in it I mean, I, I look. I did not believe everything in the Quran. I did not. I mean, even when I was a kid, I remember I used to tell my, my mother, you know, what's this fantasies? How did somebody live this this long? How did his foot, Abraham's foot, landed in in Mecca and only in that spot? I mean, when they dig today in Mecca and they do these big buildings, I mean, they have to have the archaeological archaeological. Uh, people on the site to mm. check if there is anything from history down there but there was never ever anything that they found that connects you know Islam to Mecca and you know artificial um, artifacts they they did not find anything no actually they found I mean, Ar they, found, they found Aramaic they found Aramaic uh, mm. uh, uh, a, a, a script written in the in the like mud or rocks you know but not Arabic, okay, yeah. Aramic, you know. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The places that were closed in Saudi, they just yeah. Some places they found they found Aramic. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, This is why actually, you know, uh, this is why the influence of the Aramic language in the Quran, the Quran. This is now there is many many scholars, you know, believe, who study carefully the Aramic language and Arabic. They believe mm -hmm. that the Quran never was written in Arabic, never. You know? Yeah, it's. I don't think so too because of you know there was no dots and there was no tashkil. Not, not only this, you know, uh, because always when you translate, when you translate, you will lose something, right? Right. And yeah. you will find a lot of meaning doesn't make sense in the Quran if we read it today, you know, like yeah, uh, uh, you know, like if, like I just showed the hadith when Muhammad he says, uh, how how long it take to read to recite the Quran. Once he said it was 40 days, then he said a month, and then he said 20 days, and then he said 15 days, and then he said 10 days, and then he said 7 days. So, it depends on how strong the hashish is, my is, friend. No, but the, well, let us take this uh, seriously. So, if the Quran is a, is a yeah. book, the book is the same, and the Quran is not a changing, why the reciting mm -hmm. getting so shorter? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense unless what somebody all, doesn't know how to read it. What only makes sense is that somebody was writing a new book mm. from the Aramaic. When he wrote it first time, it take 40 days yeah. to recite it. Then he uh -huh. make more summa summary of it. It take one month. Then he shortened the book. It became 20. And then he shortened the book more. He make it 15. And then yeah. finally... As he said, he said seven days. So the final summary, and this is what actually the Quran mean. The Quran mean the summary of the holy book. The summary. It's a summary. It's not. It's not a holy book. It's a summary of the holy book. Quran. Is it Al Quran? No, is Quran. 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 Yeah, but the is way Aramaic you pronounce word. it in Aramaic. Is it Quran? No. Is a Quran? 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 Like Quran? Qarra, qarra, is, qarra is saying, yes, yeah, qarra wa ra'a. Yeah. So Quran, okay. you see in Arabic, you know, you know, uh, you speak Arabic, maybe even better than me. So uh, you say, uh, uh, you say, you don't say, right? No. 
there is no way to say aklana. So, qara yaqra'u Qur'ana. Does it make sense? So, sharaba yashrabu sharbana. Sharbana, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you, you try to 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 make it go with the Arabic grammar, which does not even exist. Uh, you will find the Quran does not make any sense. In the same time, is if qara wara'a is what Quran means, he said what he saw. So Muhammad he saw what? Mm -hmm. He saw nothing, my friend. He saw nothing. Even no. the story says that Muhammad he did not receive a book. Correct. Right. So in order for him to use the word qara'a, qira a, the Muslim, they use the word now qira'a, they say mean recitation, mm -hmm. right? But this is false right. because this is Aramaic word mean qara wara'a. He say uh -huh. what he yeah. saw. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't say but something you did not see. Uh, uh, yeah. Recitation is something you recite from your memory. Right. So, so you have it to have it first in the memory in order to say it. Repeating is not recitation. If I repeat after you, you know, that is not reciting. Yeah. You know, I'm repeating. Uh, recitation is a, is a memory thing. So even the story about Muhammad, when an angel, he came to him and he said to him, Iqra. Yeah. You know? Okay, what Iqra yeah. means? Anyone is ask anyone who speak Arabic and you speak Arabic. Iqra means read. Read. Mm -hmm. If Muhammad, he and Muhammad himself, how Muhammad he understood the word? He said to him, "Ma ana bi qari." Yeah, I do not see. He said, "What That's I will what read." He meant. What I will read. What I will read. Ma okay. ana bi qari. Okay. Ishrab. Ma ana bi sharib. Huh? Right. It but did he? Do you think he meant, "I do not see what to no, read"? No, no, no. Ma ana bi qari. self. No, ma ana. Oh, oh, you, you want me? Okay. Oh, you see the Muslim. If, if say, he said it in Aramaic, let's say. The Muslim is saying that he meant he cannot read, but read carefully. The guy he just said to him one word. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he said to him, Iqra. So and how, how is... God didn't know that this guy doesn't read? Yeah. So uh, first of all, how the, how is stupid the angel to say to him, read, and the guy do not know how to read? And what the point then? My angel Taiwani. Yeah. <laughs> <Not a sini. laughs> uh, so, so when he said to him, read, and the guy do not know how to read, so what the point yeah. of saying, and unless you want to make a miracle, like Jesus said to him, let us say, if Jesus was there and he said to Muhammad, read, Muhammad will read. Because this you is read Jesus. Immediately. You know? <laughs> immediately. <He'll be> yeah. <laughs> but Muhammad was so stupid to the point, even the angel could not make him read. And he's God. Exactly. Three times in Makkah. So up. the whole story does not make sense. So uh, right. uh, he said to him, Iqra. He said, Ma ana biqari. Even, even the Muslim, when you read the hadith, you will see that when the Muslim hadith says, uh, the prophet either he was asked he's saying i do not know how to read or he is saying read what even the translation because uh the story is very confusing you know it is confusing yeah and it the story does not make sense it's... actually once there's a, a bunch of muslims uh, they wanted to prove me wrong and they decide to make a video and then when they ask them uh, how it's it me recite and muhammad he just said i cannot recite he just said one word <laughs> he just said it. He, he just said the word. Yeah. If it's yeah, me, repeat. He just said the word. Yeah. Like I said to me, I said, I said to me, say falafel. I say I cannot say falafel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Man, nobody can 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 beat you with this. I mean, I, the, I'm telling you. I mean, the guy he just said I cannot. I, <laughs> like you know, he just said he said falafel. So how in the world he would say to him, how that can mean that he cannot read? This is this is really stupid. What what the story is saying that Muhammad he said to him. What I shall read, what I shall yeah. read, and even the, when the Muslim they say that Muhammad was a person who did not know how to write, how to read. I don't know no, if you know does. the hadith. When Muhammad he was dying, he said, "Atuni bi kitab." You remember the hadith? Bring me a paper and a pen yeah. or something to write. I will write for okay. you. I will write so for you. So that means he reads, huh? That means he reads. He, he knows he how to read. read. And the Quran explained what. Uh, the word ummi mean ummi is a goma in the hebrew which is mm. the from the nations from umam you know al umam ummi yeah which mean it doesn't mean that he's from, illiterate yeah he is not from the he is not from the people of abraham he is not he is the, from the pagan this is what ummi mean so in certain time uh, me you everybody was ummi which mean he is mm -hmm. ignorant in the book he don't have the book of god so right. uh, uh, even even when when uh, uh, when the Quran speak about Muhammad, 
Muhammad, uh, he says in the Quran uh, that the people of the book, he, he, he divides the people to two kinds of people. Ahlul Kitab wal Ummiyin. So the people of the book is us, correct? All right. All right. What we are, we are, why we are called the people of the book? Because you have the manuscript. Because we have the script. So the Quran in chapter 2, verse number 78 says, from them, from among them, is the illiterate and the one who knows the book. See it? So right. Muhammad is from the pagan who do not know the book of God. Have nothing to do and then who, with being able and then to who read. who brought him the book? Huh? Who brought him the book so he can put all these stories in? Well, no, he do not know the book of God. He doesn't know. Yes, I know. Yeah. This is in the beginning. So this is what we were showing people now that uh, Muhammad, when you call me, Muhammad, he ordered yeah. Zaydu Muthabit to go and learn mm -hmm. and study more in the Aramaic language so he can read for him the books of the Jews. And then gotcha. he start copying from there and he put what he can add. Summary. So Summary. it was Zaid and Waraka? Anyone else? Waraka is the one who started it, but then Waraka he died, and when he died, the inspiration of the Allah stopped. stopped coming to him. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to have you, my friend uh, Farooq. If there's anything really I can help you with, you know, uh, like, uh, so do you today, do you announce Jesus as your Lord, as your Give Savior? Give me the strike, is man. Strike it out. Strike it out of me, man. Yeah, I want to hear it. <laughs> I want to hear it. Do you, do you believe that Jesus is your Lord, is your Savior? I believe that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. I mean to that. <coughs> and everybody be, else is Savior. Do you believe that Muhammad is cannot be from God and he is obviously from he Satan? Can, he, yeah, I, I believe that he is Satanic. Exactly. 100%. Well, I'm happy, I believe that. happy to yeah. hear that from you, Farouk. And if you have any time, if you want me to help you with your parents, I will be honored yeah. to talk to them and for sure I will speak to them very nicely. I I'll get you. you I'll get you a sheikh man. Oh yeah, I will I will pay you yes. if you do that. <laughs> but, 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 uh, don't pay me anything. I'll be, I'll just laugh it off. No, you know, it. hold on. You did not hear what I will pay you. I will pay you in Jannah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> in Jannah, which house? Give me a big house, my friend. I will give you a bracelet. Palace. I will give you a bracelet of gold in Jannah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> not silver, huh? Gold. Do you know the, do you know, the sure. do you know the story of Abu Dahda? No, Abu <laughs> Dahda. He, he have a nice, he have a nice wood full of palm trees, you know. So Muhammad, oh. he promised him corner lot if he give him a part the palm trees. <laughs> hey, Baruch, Abu Dahda. Baruch, listen, I am sure you have a nice villa in Bahrain. What about I will give you a corner lot in heaven and give you a house there, man. <laughs> Don't forget the virgins, my friend. <laughs> For sure, no. This is this is this is tips. This is nothing. Don't worry about this it. Is just the tips. Huh? They are included. <laughs> like you open the fridge, you will find them all frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to say the uh, password before you open the refrigerator will, because they I might eat you alive. I can open fridges with my long penis, my friend. In the, yeah, in the yeah just say the word like beer, you know, <laughs> before you open the door because it might explode in your face. Wow. <laughs> he <put> explosion there <laughs> for a security reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it was a great talking to you, Farouk. I'm really happy for you. Same here, man. And Same uh, here. if you can bring me a sheikh to talk to me, I will really appreciate that. Do you promise I me you can do that? I will get you a Shia guy. I'll get you a Shia guy. Shia or something, something. different. Okay, you know what? Something what, different, man. What about bring me one one time Shia and one time uh, Sunni? <laughs> so I have a country. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to bring them both honestly, I will, I will appreciate that because that will I'll be the most funny. I, I and the, and listen, that. Farouk, the bigger yeah. you, the, the bigger his beard, the better the debate will be. <laughs> the bigger the amama. The amama. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the videos in Iran? Now they are pushing the amama. <laughs> oh my God, Iran's gonna blow up, man. It's gonna yeah. hopefully, hopefully, you know, they 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 fix all the issues and you know kick kick them out kick all these um, well, bearded men out i don't think so the, joe biden the is supporting them yeah anyway joe biden supporting everybody yeah. for, for his own pockets for his own um, <laughs> exactly. agendas yeah exactly yeah, yeah well yeah. good to hear you farouk i will be happy to hear you habibi again. habibi, habibi uh, thank Allah. you very much Such. for calling and uh, may the lord bless you and you. your family and let us all thank pray you for so our brother farouk here all of you brothers here Pray for Farouk, he accepted Jesus as his Lord. Thank you so much. Uh, his Thank you so much. I and appreciate not only it. That, we will pray to your parents, your family. I don't know how many sisters you have, how many brothers you have. I have three sisters, and I'm the only, 
only guy. That will be wonderful if you can bring them to Christ, my my friend, because that will yeah. because you know the the Lord He says from their fruit you shall know them. You, and, you shall know, and know the, them. Yeah. And the Lord now He appointed you to be ambassador for Him within your family. So save your family, yeah. my friend. Save them so they will they will live happy. And even when we so die, there is no divorce tomorrow. Oh, no divorce tomorrow. <laughs> 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 no, the <worst> uh, <laughs> no, no. You see, so, you see. If, if, if this, it is uh, this, a tough this, one, man. If, it's a toxic if, marriage. If, if this woman, you see, Christianity does not encourage divorce because divorce brings problems to the children. You know, I have no children. Oh, that's a different story. But anyway, still, I cannot encourage you to divorce your wife because she's a Muslim. Have some patience. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Lord will help you to bring her to Christ with you, and will change you, uh, change her the same as He changed you too. You know, yeah. Just ask yeah. the Lord for help, and the Lord He will help you. But don't read the Quran for her about Harut and Marut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe you should maybe. go. Maybe you should go right now and tell her. Listen, do you know what we are fighting? She will say to no to you because you are. I told her. I told her. Yeah? I told her that already. <laughs> you told her it's because of Harut and Marut. I get her Harut and Marut Rabach. What she said. <laughs> You don't believe. <laughs> she, she said, I, she, "I don't believe in these things." Okay, if you don't believe in these things and you don't believe in any of these, why, why are you sticking to it? Yeah, why are you still saying the same thing? Then how should you believe still in the those same things? thing, man? It's deep within. It's deep within us. That's the problem. Yeah, she she go in denial. I see, because this is in the Quran. Yeah. You showed her in the. It's in the Quran, right? This is not hadith. What Harut Harut Marut? Yeah, yeah in the she Quran. Knows, she knows. Huh? Yeah, yeah, she knows. Yeah. She knows. Yeah. So she uh, knows. Uh, yeah. if she don't believe in those things, then she, she is out of Islam. Yeah. So here we go. You have a good news. Just tell her you are out of Islam. You know. So what? The, what the yeah. <laughs> Either she have to believe that Harut and Marut is causing you to have a fight with her, or she don't believe in Harut and Marut, and then she is out of Islam. So if she is don't believe in Harut and Marut, then she yeah, is out okay, of Islam. Technically, she is out. But you know, it's very hard for for the person to believe that they're out. Maybe she is afraid from the consequences of her family and you know friends and you know. Yeah, yeah, and the dragons and yeah. all of that. All right, my friend. Well, God bless you, <laughs> and good to have you with Thank us. Thank you so and much. Likewise, likewise. Take care. For sure, man. For sure. Take care. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you very much, man. Bye bye. Well, it was a great conversation with our friend Farouk. He is uh, he, he's funny, he's, uh, he's a smart, and uh, uh, you know. But I'm disappointed, by the way, because I was expecting somebody to debate me, and you know, like you know, like but. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but anyway, he is Jesus Christ. He is the first begotten of the dead. He is the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. He is. He is the Almighty, which is, which was, which is to come. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. He is He that liveth. He is the Tree of Life. He is the hidden manna. He is the faithful and the true witness. <laughs>